there, Mrs. Price here. I'm so happy you could join me this morning for some math. We're doing Number Corner. I know a lot of you love doing Number Corner and some of you, uh, but we sure learn a lot. Today we're going to predict Number Corner pieces. We are going to determine if the Number Corner pieces are asymmetrical or symmetrical. We're going to work to understand fractions, break them into three equal parts. And we are going to learn how to write an extended, expanded form numbers. Um, so put on your thinking math cap and let's go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I do say turn to your partner. That's something we do in my class. And I know Mrs. Tapia's class and Mrs. Estevez's class do that too. We don't have a partner to talk to. So you can talk to your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your friend. You can talk to your dog, your cat. You can talk to a plant. I have a student that does that. You can talk to an imaginary friend, but the important thing is that you do talk out loud and share your thinking because when you hear yourself thinking, it helps you remember and it helps you learn more. So I want to make sure that you are sharing when I say turn and share. OK, OK, we're going to get started. Well, we have our vocabulary that we will be using. Halves, divide, whole, congruent, symmetric, asymmetrical, thirds and part. Those are our vocabulary words for today. Take a look at our calendar and see if you have any observations. Turn to your partner and tell them any observations that you might have. Okay, now we're going to make a prediction. Looking at our calendar, we are going to predict, is this going to be symmetrical or asymmetrical? I'm going to pull the card out. Turn and tell your partner if it's symmetrical, if your prediction is symmetrical or asymmetrical. Let's turn it over. And this is the shape. I went ahead and cut a shape out that looks exactly the same. That's where our vocabulary word congruent comes in because these are exactly the same. They are congruent. We learned about that in February. I'm just reminding you. OK, now we're going to see if this is symmetrical. Let's fold this down in half and there's some left over. So it's not exactly the same when I fold it in half. Well, let's try folding it in half this way. OK. And it is. There's nothing left over. The sides are exactly the same and both sides are exactly the same. That means this is symmetrical because both sides are the same. OK, so the 26th is symmetrical. Now it's time to make your prediction about today's card. Turn to your partner and tell your partner if you think that they this card is symmetrical or asymmetrical. OK, I'm flipping it over. Well, we have a quadrilateral, four sides, four angles. And I'm going to take the little piece of paper off that I put on there. And put the card back in the calendar. And looking at this, it looks like it might be symmetrical. But the only way we'll know for sure is to fold it. Well, it's shaped kind of funny. OK, I folded it in half the long way and we've got a lot hanging over. I'm going to try the short way. Uh, there's still some hanging over and some hanging over. What if I tried to do it diagonally? 
up. Oh, we still have some hanging over right there and right there. So this shape here is asymmetrical. It's not symmetrical. So it's called asymmetrical. I'm going to put that card back in there. Okay. So today is Monday, April 27, 2020. I've already put a stick in here for today and that made it 141 days and we have 39 days left of school our month is the fourth month the 27th day of 2020 when we look at this, where did I get the number four? It should be written, you would think, April 27th, 2020. Well, this is a shorter way to write it, and where the number four came from is January, February, March, April. It's the fourth month. Okay. So for 141 days, I just want to point out we have 100 sticks right here and there are 10 groups of 10 in here. So that's 10 groups of 10, which equals 100. We have four groups, one, two, three, four, four sets of 10 and we have a single one. That equals 141. And on our days in school, we have 110, 20, 30, 40, 41. Can you see that okay? Okay, I told you we were going to learn how to write expanded numbers. Our number is 140. One. How would I write that in expanded form? I'm going to push these down and put my number right here. 141. Well, let's look at the hundreds. We know we have 10 sets of 10 equal 100, but how many hundreds is a hundred? A hundred is one set of a hundred. So we're going to put one set of a hundred is one hundred. Plus, how many tens do we have? We had four tens. Four tens is forty. So I write 40, 100 plus 40 plus, how many ones do we have? That's right, we have one. Okay, I'm gonna use a different color marker and I'm going to do one more number for you in the expanded form. I'm going to use 236. Okay. Can you see that? It looks like it might be hard. Let's see if the green's a little darker. 236. Okay, so how many hundreds do we have in 236? Turn and tell your partner. Did you say two? Pat yourself on the back if you said two because you're absolutely right. We have 200. And how many tens do we have in 236? We have three tens. So how would I write three tens? Turn and tell your partner. 30. You're right. If you got that right, I want you to let me know. Me too. Okay.
And how many ones are we going to have to add for 236? Turn and tell your partner. How many ones? If you said six ones, you are absolutely right. Awesome, awesome job. And that is how you would make an expanded number. Just by breaking the hundreds, the tens, and the ones up. Pretty simple, huh? That's going to be your homework assignment, but we'll get to that later, okay? I wanted to show you one more thing. We have a card that I folded and then I put little dots on it so you could see it. It says one third, one third, and one third. I have a question for you. This card is exactly the same size as the other card. Do you see? They're congruent. They're exactly the same size. This one I folded the long way and split it in thirds. And this one I folded the short way and split it in thirds. Do you think they are the same size? The little sections? This has three equal sections and this one has three equal sections. But are these long sections the same size as these short sections? Turn and tell your partner what you think. Well, they are. They don't look like it, but they are. They're exactly the same. Now, for us to do a quick, um, oops, sorry, a quick math problem, I am going to draw three squares and divide them into three sections each and I'm going to color one third on this one and one third on this one and one third on this one. Okay, I just wanted to give you a visual and then I'm going to write one third plus one third plus one third. So, we're adding these shapes together. I have a question for you. Looking at the picture, if I moved this one over to there, that would just be one third plus one third. What would that equal? So I'm adding this third to this picture. What would that equal? Did you say two thirds? You're absolutely right because we know on the bottom it never changes as long as the numbers are the same. When you say one third plus one third, the bottom is going to stay a three representing a third because each of these shapes, each of these pieces is one third. So it's broken up into three thirds, right? So now we have one third plus one third equals two thirds. There's two thirds. Well, what if I took this picture over here and moved it into the middle? Actually erase it because I moved it and I moved that one too. Now we have three thirds. So I could add one third to my two thirds and I get three thirds. Well, that makes our problem down here even easier. One third plus one third plus one third. Well, when we're adding a fraction, if the denominator, that's these bottom numbers, is always the same. Then when you come to the equal, it's going to stay a third. And then you just have to add one plus one plus one. Turn to your partner and tell your partner what one plus one plus one is. 
three. You're absolutely right. So, how would you say this number here? Three thirds. You could also say three thirds is the same as one whole because when we look at this one, this is three thirds and it turned out to be one whole. And that's pretty easy. I'm going to show you one other number. So down here, four fours, that's the same as one. Two twos, that's the same as one. OK, so when the number on the top and the bottom are the same, they equal one. Two twos equals one. OK. And that is my lesson for today. Today we predicted calendar pieces to determine if they were symmetrical or asymmetrical. We worked on understanding fractions and we learned about equal parts and how many parts equal a whole. If we're talking about thirds, three equal parts equal a whole. And we learned how to write the expanded numbers. Okay, your homework for today is to email, text, or dojo your teacher the expanded form of 427. The expanded form of 427. Do you have any questions? If you do, you can ask your teacher. OK, I'll see you in our next math lesson, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon and signing out with a heart. Mrs. Price, bye bye.